Hey everybody, this is ESJ BVC. I'm here and I'm going to show you a video tutorial on how you can exploit the new game Defiance using the key and mouse recorder advanced program and have your character essentially queue up for the uh, competitive waterfront battleground and leech experience while you are away from your computer. The first step in this is going to be downloading the advanced key and mouse recorder. Uh, you can see it here. You can get it at mouse recorder.macro-expert.com um, it's a free program and it even allows you to save macros you can see a macro I made here the one I already use and basically what you can do with this is um, automate a series of mouse clicks I mean uh, base I mean all it is is just clicking clicking on your screen in certain locations in a certain order um, there are currently no measures in the game to combat idle players. Um, if you are idle in a competitive PvP match, um, there is no way for that idle player to be removed from the fight. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, basically how you can abuse this using the uh, macro software. So the first step to getting this all set up is going to be um, creating a new macro. Um, this is very simple. All you have to do is go to this record a macro button, which is right here up in the top left under common tasks. Um, I already have some macros here. A cool thing is, is once you've already created a macro, you can right click it and go down to re-record macro and you can uh, recycle an existing macro in case you screw up during your recording because you'll probably mess up a couple times before you get it right. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go up here to record a macro. Um, you can click here, you can make a macro title. Um, I'm just going to leave it new macro one. Uh, just you, know, you want to make sure it's set to continuously playback. Um, you want the speed set to normal. You can fool around with this. You can make a hotkey or word phrase, but I'm, I wouldn't really mess with that. Make sure you have um, record keystrokes, a save time interval between two keystrokes, uh, record mouse activity, and smart mode checked. You also want to make sure switch to window before recording. You want to make sure you set that to defiance. So this uh, little screen is going to pop up here, and basically as soon as the counter ticks down, it's going to start recording your actions on the screen. Um, the basic thing you want to do is abuse the fact that it's so easy to queue up for these competitive PvP matches. Literally all you have to do is hit control once, go to matchmaking, then to competitive maps, then to waterfront and then to join. Now there is some extra steps in this but this is just a basic idea of how easy it is. I mean literally just having a macro click here, click here, click here, clicking there will get you into the PvP match. Now there's one extra step in this. Now when you're actually in a PvP match when the match ends you have to click the close button. If you don't click the close button you can't actually leave the match and it'll leave your character stuck. So what you want to do is figure out where on the screen the close button is. Um, it's going to depend on what your resolution and everything is set to, but it's actually right around here where my mouse cursor is currently. An easy way to figure out where the close button is, is going to be actually queuing for a waterfront PvP match like this. and simply just join a match. Um, at the end you're going to see exactly on the screen where the close button is. Um, it should be right around here. Um, an easy way to mark on your screen where it is, you're going to get a piece of regular scotch tape. That's right, clear regular scotch tape. And what you're going to do is take that scotch tape, you're going to get a sharpie marker, you're going to rip off a piece of tape, take your sharpie marker and draw a little black circle on that piece of tape. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, when you're in the PvP match, when you see the close button, you're going to take your piece of tape with your Sharpie and you're going to take that piece of tape and just stick a little black dot right over where it says close. And so here we are in a PvP match. Um, you'll see right here, there's these two buttons that say ready and leave competitive match. Um, what's broken with the competitive PvP mode right now is that I can just sit here. I can literally just sit at this screen and wait for the game to end. Um, I could sit here AFK, you'll see people getting kills up in this right hand corner and basically there's nothing they can do. Um, I can sit here and just 
do nothing and my team can't kick me and there's nothing they can do about it so right now my team is going to be playing five versus six it will be man down and there's nothing they can do um, you're not even going to be in the match so you don't even have to worry about dying or respawning um, in a way I think this almost sort of helps because I feel like a lot of bad players just run out and just get farmed and feed so in a way by doing this you're gonna probably let some pre-made groups some four-man groups probably do a lot better because you won't have that one random feeder guy just you know running out there and dying but that's just my own personal opinion about this so I'm just gonna sit here um, as you can see people are getting kills up in this right hand corner um, I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit um, you can sit back and just watch what happens when you just sit here at the screen um, so I'm gonna fast forward the video and just uh, hang back and watch the kills So right there, as you can see, the match has ended. Um, that didn't take very long. Um, we lost. Uh, you get a key code at the end, which is also another reason why doing this is very powerful, because not only are you farming free XP bars, because you're also getting free uh, key cards, which you can basically cash in for epic rewards. You need about 61 of these, and you'll easily max out these very quickly if you walk away from your computer. So now that you know where that button placement is, now you have the important information, and now you can actually make your macro. So what you're going to do is go over here to Mouse Recorder. Um, I'll show you how to make a new macro again. Uh, you just go to Record a Macro. It's going to ask for the macro's title. I'll just name this, um, you know, uh, bot for defiance lol try on and I'm gonna hit next so the important things again um, you want to make sure you have it set to continuously playback uh, you can mess around with these hockey things um, you want to leave the speed to normal I haven't really messed around with the hockey thing too much I really wouldn't worry about it just go ahead and hit next you're gonna want to have record keystrokes uh, save time save time interval between two keystrokes record mouse sensitivity, uh, screen coordinates, smart mode, and definitely want to have switch to window before recording. This will actually make it so if you have any other windows up like open broadcaster or um, your key recorder uh, will get pushed behind and the macro will just jump straight into defiance. So let me go and just give you an example of exactly how to do it. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. So now you have this counter okay so now it's going it's recording exactly what I press so you kinda wanna do this sort of quickly but not too quickly so you're gonna hit control oh you gotta make sure you don't have enter open if you have enter open you're not gonna be able to hit control so you wanna make sure that's turned off and see now that I've hit enter I've already screwed up the macro so you wanna know the hotkey to end the macro if you're already recording it that's control alt and T it'll make that little bling sound so remember how I was saying before how you can recycle macros? Well, this is going to be really simple. We're going to go back in here, make sure that's turned off. We're going to Alt-Tab to where the key macro is. We're going to right-click the bot for Defiance, lol try on. We're going to re-record the macro. We're going to hit Yes. We're going to hit OK to everything before. All right. So now shoot at your gun or whatever. Before, you just got to make sure you don't press anything before that timer starts. So you go ahead and hit control. Alright, so now we're going to do this real simple. Matchmaking. Hit it a couple times if you want to to make sure your, your macro is actually doing it. Competitive maps. Waterfront. Now click that spot that you marked with your pen and tape. Click there just a couple times just to make sure. Now hit join. And now that's it. Now hit Control Alt T. It'll bling. Now your macro should be good to go.
All right, so now that we have our bot created, we're just gonna right click the bot, go ahead and hit play, make sure continuously playback is checked, go ahead and hit okay. And it might take a couple times to cycle through to get it to work. You can see it sort of messed up a little bit at first, but now it's actually doing its thing. Um, sometimes for some reason when the macro plays back, it has a weird thing with the sensitivity of how you actually click your mouse. So sometimes if you don't press your mouse with a real definitive click, uh, it can skip that click. If it skips that click, then it's going to skip a step in your queuing process. So you want to make sure that you have a really good recording of you actually hitting those buttons so you make sure that you're going to join the match. Um, you know, you can keep trying at this, but basically you just have to click those uh, five different areas and you can basically just keep queuing up for Battlegrounds for as long as your computer can stay connected to the internet. So we're just going to let it sit here, do its thing, and show you what it looks like once you're actually in a PvP match. The nice thing is, is you automatically deploy. So even though your macro will eventually click to join the match, if you just wait there after 30 seconds, your character is just automatically put in, which is sort of overpowered in my opinion. And that's it. It's gonna hang out here and wait for that close button to pop up and then you'll pretty much just rinse and repeat. Your character will sit there and continue to leech experience and get those key cards so you can buy those epics uh, while you're at you know work or school or just you know out not at your computer. Um, so I'm just gonna let this keep playing and just show you what it looks like. Um, I'll probably have it join a couple matches just to show you how powerful it is. And that's pretty much the tutorial. Uh, this is ESJ Beefy Curtains. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on twitchtv.com. My Twitch URL is twitchtv forward slash ESJ underscore B-E-E-F-Y-C. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys.